Closed captioning for great tastes is presented by Manitoba Pork, locally grown, globally preferred. Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca, local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture. Welcome to the Great Taste of Manitoba, the 27th season. We are so pleased and, and honored that you have chosen to spend all of these Saturday nights with us and we have an amazing 27th season waiting, ready to go. We have some secrets. We're not going to tell you everything that's coming up, but it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. So my name is Des Daniels. I'm very proud and pleased to be your host. And I'm very happy that we're starting with Manitoba pork, Susan Reese. And I'm, I'm excited because we've got this cooking and it's, it already smells so amazingly good. And we're going to have some fun with this yep. uh, as, uh, as the uh, t time goes on. But Ben Rush, you're here as well, Manitoba mm -hmm. Liquor and Lotteries. Why don't you walk us through what we're going to be doing here today? Sure. Um, as you can see, we're going to fire up the grill today with some Manitoba pork. We're starting off with a grilled Korean bulgogi pork taco recipe using some pork tenderloin that's been infused with uh, classic Asian flavors, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sweet, and a little heat. Just some hot in there, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. Um, for a second recipe, we're going to try to create a little bit of Mediterranean magic and make some stuffed uh, caprese meatballs with charred cherry tomatoes using ground pork. Best part about this is you can serve this as an appetizer or an entree on uh, pasta. And then we're going to wrap things up and take a page out of sort of the laid-back island life, if you will, and uh, grill up some pineapple and rum glazed pork chops with grilled pineapple salsa. So it all sounds very fun. Mm -hmm. Ben, we know you know a little something about that, so we'll be joining you, you'll be joining <laughs> us back here in uh, just a little bit. I'm stoked to be back in it. Like, if, if you could just capture what it smells like in here already. I know. I, like, it's, it's a party waiting to happen. Yes. <laughs> and I'll... Uh, take off at some point to uh, to find Do some stuff to thing. go along with this party. Yes, all right, very good. <laughs> off you go, and uh, we're going to get started here on uh, grilled Korean bul bulgogi. Pork tacos. Bulgogi, yes. but does it matter? Will it still turn out if we say it incorrectly? I, I, I'm sure it's it going to turn out. Okay, here <laughs> we go. So we're going to do. We're going to start with. Is it butterfly? Yes. So we're okay. starting off with a whole pork tenderloin. Um, lots of great attributes to, to pork tenderloin. Extra lean meat. Uh, lots of great vitamins and minerals in there. Uh, high quality protein as well. And uh, there's lots of things you can do with it. We're going to butterfly it today, which really helps speed up the cooking process. So if you're in a hurry, this is a great uh, method to use. All right, so first things first, sharp knife is always uh, essential. And then uh, we're gonna basically hold it uh, parallel to the cutting board and um, slice to but not through the other side. See, absolutely none of the knives in my kitchen would work because they're like super, you have to have something really sharp to yeah. do this well. The right tools are definitely- Integral. Um, yes, Okay. Uh, key. So you want to keep opening it up sort of like a book. And when you've uh, gotten almost all the way through, but not, not Precision quite. work, Susan. Precision yeah, work. Well, and then you just, yeah, just keep flattening it like so. Okay. And so essentially this is the, the butterflying step. Right. And then you want to flatten it a little bit more. We want to um, get it up to about a quarter inch thickness. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can use this great handy dandy meat mallet. I got which, very excited when I saw the mallet. Yeah. Put the baseball bat back <laughs> in my car. But, but you're not going to use the mallet no, today. No, I'm not. Because uh, it's really noisy. And unless you want to wake up your teenagers, by all means, then go, then go for it. But um, I've got this great um, heavy marble rolling pin. Yeah. And uh, that's what I like to use because you can basically just roll, roll the meat until it's the right thickness. It's uh, a very, it's less noisy, um, as you can tell, and uh, it gives you like a nice even, even thickness. You don't have to worry about pounding right through to the other side of the meat. And you keep doing that until you're at about a quarter inch, um, a quarter inch thickness. Okay. Right. All right. And uh, shuffle this one off. You can shuffle here. that one off to the side. So we're going to make our bulgogi marinade now. And uh, basically, our marinade consists of an acid and oil and some seasonings. So we've got some low-sodium soy sauce, 
rice vinegar, um, some sweeteners, uh, brown sugar and um, ginger and honey. Yeah, obviously ginger yeah. and garlic are two staples and a tiny little bit of sriracha. So that's that heat that I was now talking about. Now you could about. put more if you wanted, I expect, if you wanted it like yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. You can, um, yeah, you can uh, alter the sriracha and the amount depending on uh, how Mixing much how much heat you want. All right. So we're going to add our, our pork tenderloin right into this Ziploc bag. I love using this method because it's super easy. Quick clean up. And clean and like so. Okay. And then you would just sort of massage, massage that and lay it in your fridge for about two to four hours. Which is but the other, I want whoop, it now, Susan. Or you, or you don't zip it up properly that's, and you spill. That's there you go. all right. These things happen. Okay. Because I know nobody ever spills at home. That never happens. Exactly. It's a shocking <laughs> thing to see it on television. Um, so then we're going to move over to the tenderloin that we've already got on the grill. Um, so nice grill marks on there. You don't want to overcook it. Maybe two or three to four minutes aside tops. You it looks want that beautiful. Nice hint of pink inside. Um, you don't have to worry about cooking pork okay. tenderloin to uh, to well done. We'll just crank up the heat okay. a little bit. So this there. is not ready to flip quite not, yet. Not okay. quite yet. All right. Got the first side done, but not okay. quite. Very good. Well, the, one of the things that I love about this too is that um, I think a lot of people don't realize that pork is such a versatile meat mm -hmm. like it's uh, it, it's just as versatile as chicken breast Absolutely, and so you can have yeah. sort of like two different things that you can go to and, yep. and with pork you can do just as many things and when you have it butterfly like this you can use it for salads you can use it for stir fries you can use it in tacos which we have tacos which we have here okay. so we've got some that's already sliced up you're just gonna uh, slice it into thin strips when you take it off the grill make sure you let it rest for a couple of minutes just so those uh, juices can reabsorb into the meat, right. and then uh, basically you can assemble okay. uh, assemble your taco, soft shell, hard so shell, whatever you want. So can I build one here really quick? Absolutely. Is that, is that? Yeah, okay. Go All for right. it. And then we're going to top it off with some coleslaw, very easy Asian slaw, just um, ready to use coleslaw mixture. And then we've added some prepared uh, coleslaw dressing that we've uh, just tossed a little bit of rice vinegar into. Oh yeah, um, you can smell it. It smells yeah, a little amazing. bit of pear okay. in there as well, I'm gonna give uh, this which a is go. a nice Asian sort of. Uh, twist and don't forget to garnish with oh, some cilantro. cilantro. I could just eat the cilantro. I know. Okay. It does not look amazing. Do you eat from the top, the side? What's the you know least what? dignified way to do it? Here we go. Just whatever. <laughs> it's your call. Whatever works. <laughs> mm. but this is a great, um, a great a dish for, for, for grilling. Again, leftovers you can use for other things, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a fun, fun mm. food to eat. Absolutely beautiful. What a mess. How delicious. We're gonna get our hands. We're gonna get into the meat. We're gonna get a little bit dirty. We're gonna make some meatballs here in just a second. Mm -hmm. Manitoba pork, please come back. I'll clean up. <laughs> You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Enjoy responsibly.